So you've just bought Hell Let Loose and you want some tips to help you get into the experience. So here are 10 tips for new players for Hell Let Loose. Number one is communication. And I'd highly recommend using a microphone in Hell Let Loose. If you are going to be a squad leader, tank commander or commander, then you'd need to have one. Many servers have rules stopping players who don't have microphones from taking these roles. And if you don't have a microphone, then just be active in your squad chat, which is the L key, by letting your squad leader know what you see and where. When you do use your microphone, keep your communication short and sweet. If you spot the enemy, just say something like infantry 260. 260 being the compass direction at the bottom of your screen. Also ping that location, which by default is the middle mouse button. So who am I? My name is Terry Dactyl and I've been making Hell Let Loose videos since the game first went into early access in June 2019. I've made plenty of gameplay videos and about 40 different guides on the game so far and I also stream on YouTube and during my streams I will play with anyone who's watching the stream regardless if you're a subscriber or a member. So give this video a like and subscribe for more and now let's get on with the rest of the tips. In general, semi-auto rifles like the M1 and the G43 will kill in one shot up to 200 meters, and automatic rifles like the BAR and STG44 will kill in 2 to 3, and SMGs 2 to 4. You can tell when you hit someone as you will hear this sound. Use this sound, especially when using automatic weapons to figure out how many shots it will take to kill them. A headshot at any range is also a kill. This ain't Battlefield or Call of Duty. You need to be in cover in every fight. Get used to popping in and out of cover while reloading, switching between targets and just everything you do. Also move from cover to cover at all times or at least to concealment like bushes or hedges. While Hell Let Loose has improved its frame rate during the course of its development, it still needs a bit of work with its optimization, You can give yourself a good frame rate boost just by forcing the game to run in DirectX 12. To do this you need to exit the game, go into the properties for the game in Steam, then add in dash DX12. Some users report extra stutters while using this, but I find spinning around a couple of times when you first spawn in game fixes this. Also put shadows to low and turn SSAO off, as these two settings have the biggest impact on frame rate. Every class, apart from the medic, carries two bandages. You can use these bandages on yourself and an ally. When you play as the medic, you will see this bandage symbol to show if someone needs a bandage. When playing as any other role, you will not see this, but you can still bandage your teammates. Just keep an ear out for people that are in need. Smoke grenades are very useful in Hell Let Loose. Use them to cover your approach on enemy positions or to use them to fall back. Just don't make the mistake of throwing smoke onto your own position. Throw them ahead towards the enemy. One thing you can do is throw your smoke towards the enemy, move up into that smoke and then throw more smoke ahead to cover your approach to get even closer to the enemy's position. I do this all the time and it works a lot, but if you're coming up against a machine gun then try to get around the flank instead. Now being able to spot players quicker will come with more time you put into the game. What works for me as I am moving around or taking cover is looking at the obvious cover points such as the edges of hedges, walls, windows or anywhere someone can peek out from. So as I am moving from point to point my eyes are just darting all over the place scanning for targets and I always think that there could be enemies nearby. Just stay alert. I also find that the colour of skin actually stands out more than the enemy's uniform from a distance. Footsteps are pretty loud in Hell Let Loose, so be aware when you're sneaking up on an enemy position. If you are sprinting around, then they may hear you. Slow down your movement to a crouch and iron sight up. It's okay to take your time. Now on this channel I have a number of guides looking at the weapons in a game. They show you how to headshot targets at certain distances, the bullets to kill, and how to hit running and sprinting targets. But as a general rule, every 100 meters aim about one half a person ahead of your target, if that makes sense. You may need to aim ahead a bit more for weapons with slower bullet velocity like the SMGs.
these are outposts and these are garrisons. If you see a red triangle with an exclamation mark in them, that means the enemy are close. So when you spawn in, quickly check all around you as someone could be charging at that position. And that's it for this tips video. If you have tips of your own, then please leave them down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and please give this video a like and subscribe for more.